Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokeaim here with another competitive Pokemon Sun and Moon moveset video guide, analysis, whatever you want to call it, on Zygarde Complete. We're talking about the big Ubers out here, and this dude is huge. Base 216 HP, that is 636 max HP. On top of that, really, really solid defense at uh, base 121. A uh, solid attack at base 100, and even decent special defense at base 95. The difference between this and Zygarde, 50%. Or just regular Zygarde, if you want to call it that, is the fact that it is slower by 10 points and it has higher special attack. Uh, but you don't really use this Mon for a special attack. This is a really interesting Mon, and uh, I'll be talking about it in regards to the Uber's tier because we're going by small on standards. That's what I, that's what we're talking about with Zygarde. So. We're talking about it in regards to Ubers. If you guys actually missed any of the previous moveset, video analysis, guides, whatever, there's a playlist. A link is down below in the description. I encourage you to check that out. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links are down below. Now, again, Zygarde has a ridiculous base one, uh, base two, excuse me. Oof, disrespected it for a second. Base 216 HP. That comes up to 636. In order to get into this form, though, you have to have the power constructability, and that means you have to be at 50% or lower, and at the end of the turn, uh, you will transform. Or you have, basically, you have to be at 50% or lower, uh, or less, at the end of the turn. So you'll transform into uh, Zygarde complete after that if you're using Zygarde 10% or Zygarde 50% with the power constructability. If you're using Aura Break, it's not going to work. This is power construct. So uh, these sets were actually some I have tested and I want to give a huge shout out to my boy uh, Cameron. Uh, Palm Man, well he doesn't go by Palm Man anymore, but he is a bro and he has helped me so much. He goes by Aberforth now, but he has helped me so much uh, with ubers and whatnot and i wanted to give him a big shout out because he um looked over these sets gave me some sets to try out and i've liked them and i've tested them and we're gonna be talking about them so the first one is physically defensive zygarde now like i said zygarde has base 121 defense 375 at max couple that with 636 hp this boy is five hit ko'd by zero attack primal groudon i want to show you guys Okay, Primal Groudon, you might be thinking, oh, Zero Attack isn't that much. I mean, there's no investment, right? Zero Attack, Primal Groudon hits almost 400 attack. That is 396 attack. That's almost as strong as a Dragonite, a Max Attack Dragonite, a Max Attack Tyranitar. Um, and this has Presser's Blades, a 120 base power move. And Fizz Death, Zygarde, is 5 hit KO'd by Defensive Groudon, <laughs> by Precipice Blade, which is ridiculous to say the least. Um, but the physically defensive rest talk set with thousand arrows and dragon tail you guys should already know what thousand arrows does But basically it hits um, Everything it can hit everything if you're flying if you have levitate it can hit you first it hits you neutral on flying types And then after that it will hit super effective like um, as in it will be like a smackdown versus an earthquake on Skarmory uh, At first it'd be a smackdown and then it'd be an earthquake uh, pretty much base damage like that, but it's 90 base power. Uh, Dragon Tail is nice because it actually allows you to phase out Pokemon such as Primal Groudon, Pokemon such as Arceus, Extreme Speed Arceus, Swords Dance Arceus, um, and a bunch of different physical mods such as Blaziken as well. Dual Dance Groudon. Uh, even Salamence isn't really hurting you that much with Return. It's not knocking you out. You can phase it out with the Dragon Tail. So the idea of this set is to um, have Rest and Sleep Talk. Rest is so after you've taken the 50% damage and transform to Zygarde Complete, you get all the way back up to full, and then just Sleep Talk, shuffle your opponent around with Dragon Tail or Thousand Arrows. You can pair this with Spikes, you can pair this with Toxic Spikes, you can pair this with Stealth Rock, um, basically all types of hazards, and you're just abusing them with Thousand Arrows and Dragon Tail to phase out your opponent. But it's Impish, max HP, max defense, and this boy hits hard and it's not even that it hits hard because honestly 237 attack it's base 100 attack without any investment maybe 4 hp a uh, 4 attack investment excuse me it's not that much but that racks up with hazards and the fact that this pokemon does not die like i said it's a great check to extreme speed arceus a great check to physically or to offensive groudon or even defensive groudon um as you're hitting it hard with thousand arrows and you're phasing them out with dragon tail next up we have dd rest talk uh, the idea of this set is, again, rest and sleep talk, just so when you get to 50%, you get back up at full, and then uh, maxing out your HP and maxing out your attack. So you have base 100 attack, 328, and then max HP. Um, this still allows you to take hits from Primal Groudon, still allows you to take hits from um, Arceus, just to name a few Pokemon. Also from support Arceus as well, since a lot of support Arceus are actually dropping 
Ice Beam to run Judgment since Solgaleo is in the tier. Um, speaking of which, Fizz Death, Zygar Complete also checks as Solgaleo easily. But the Dragon Dance set, it's basically Dragon Dance Rest Talk. Uh, you can use this to absorb status. Uh, by using Rest Talk, you don't care about will o -Wisp, you don't care about Toxic. Both are very, very common in the Ubers tier. And like I said, I would really scout for the support Arceus if you are trying to set up on it. But if it doesn't have Ice Beam, if it reveals Judgment, you see Defog. You can assume that the next move is Recover and a status. You can always assume that on support Arceus. But if you see Ice Beam, be careful because they do like to run Ice Beam as well for Mega Salamence since that's such a huge uh, threat in the tier. But Dragon and Zygarde can set up on all those Pokemon, on stall teams that rely on um, burning or toxicing or wearing down your opponent in order to beat them. And it just has that max HP stat to be able to Dragon Dance up in front of that. So, Sub Coil. Uh, the idea of this set is to be faster than uh, support Groudon and whatnot, um, almost maxing out your Spadef, almost maxing out your HP, and uh, this set can take hits from Pokemon such as Lunala, from Mega Gengar, uh, you can take um, Judgments as well from support Arceus, like Arceus Water for example. Uh, doesn't break your sub of judgment if it's zero if it's actually zero investment It doesn't break your sub and what you can do is a sub coil up to raise your attack to raise the accuracy of dragon tail and as well as raise your defense and it's going to be tough for your opponent to break your sub um, Obviously sub also what it allows you to do is get into that Zygarde complete form as well because the challenge, not always the challenge, but you have to use regular Zygarde and that has to get into Zygarde complete form in order for this to happen. So uh, it's not really much of a challenge, but sub definitely helps with that. Similar to what it was in the OU tier. Uh, alternatively, you can also run Extreme Speed over Dragon Tail. Extreme Speed is also nice on this set as well as the Death Coil set, but Extreme Speed allows you to deal with Deoxys attack um, and Pokemon such as that just with higher priority, but sub coil sets up on those weaker special attacking mons like Age of Slash in the tier, you easily set up on that. Uh, you can tank hits from Mega Gengar, Lunala, again watch out for Ice Beam, uh, the Moon Blast is also ran on them as well. And just boosting your defenses as well as your attack uh, becoming a very very prominent threat. Uh, with this set. So next up we have Offensive Dragon Dance. Now this set can actually run Life Orb or Lumberry. Um, the thing with Life Orb is you're taking about, I think, what is it, 75 HP of yourself <laughs> after you hit with it. So I don't really like that on a Pokemon that has to get to 50% before it becomes a threat. You do gain back HP, but you're still losing HP. So Lumberry is there just for Outrage. Dragon Dance, it's just max attack. Max speed, Dragon Dance, Iron Tail, Thousand Arrows, and Outrage. Iron Tail allows you to hit Xerneas. Uh, if you run a Life Orb, it actually can KO Xerneas at plus one with Stealth Rock up. Standard Geomancy Xerneas. But um, with Lumberry, you need a little bit of chip damage. Thousand Arrows, your main form of attacking. Again, resisting this. Where? Where are you? You're a flying type? I don't care. I hit you in the air. I don't. Thousand Arrows. <laughs> My boy does not care. But Zyre Complete, really, really bulky mon. Really, really strong mon too uh, and i say that just because it has no problem boosting up um you might be thinking oh i mean it's base 100 attack yeah but it can constantly get off those attacks which makes you strong and outrage is your final um attack and that allows you just pretty much your dragon stab unfortunately it doesn't get anything such as like dragon claw or anything like that i guess dragon uh core enforcer which is pretty cool but it doesn't have the best special attack to abuse it i wouldn't really use that in ubers um all the sets that i've tried were all these I've never actually tried special and I didn't see it really doing much for me especially because people would go into like fizz def Xerneas um, to check this mon and uh, it's just I don't think it's that solid versus it um, it's still a cool it, it's still a cool move though I like the way it sounds core uh, <laughs> core enforcer but yeah the idea of the set is using it more as a straight up sweeper and you want to hazard support again though in order to get into this you have to take Gets 50%, but you can set it up. Uh, you can set up with this mon on Pokemon such as maybe Arceus, uh, since they don't knock you out at plus two. Um, then again, you don't knock it out at plus one. So it's really the type of mon that you can switch in. You got to take a hit and then get into your Zyre complete form, and then after that, try and set up. But the best sets I've tried so far were Fizz Def and uh, Spadef Coil. Now, speaking of Spadef Coil, this actually runs Rest Talk again. It's just Coil Max Spadef Max HP. Um, as opposed to sub coil, it's just mono thousand arrows. But like I said, you can turn sleep talk into extreme speed if you want. Uh, you could also use lumber as well. That way you can go right 
or Chestleberry, excuse me. You could actually use Chestleberry. That way you can get your rest. I would use Chestleberry over Lumberry because p people like the status in Ubers anyway, so you don't want your Lumberry popping for a will o -Wisp for a Toxic. Whereas if you go for rest, you get rid of all that stuff anyway and Chestleberry activates. So it's just Coil, Rest, um, Sleep Talk, and Thousand Arrows. It sets up on Mega Gengar, sets up on Lunala, sets up on a Veltal, just special attackers like that. Can set up on, again, support Arceus uh, without Ice Beam and just coil up and put in work. Again, watch out for Ice Beam on Pokemon themselves, but um, basically, and even the Fizz Up set can take hits from like Rayquaza as well, uh, if they're not running like Outrage. And even then, Outrage does not kill um, from Rayquaza. But you gotta watch out for Mixed Rayquaza though with Draco Media. But uh, the Spadef Coil set, again, it just takes on those giant threats. And taking on Mega Gengar is huge. Mega Gengar is ridiculous Pokemon and Ubers, just being able to trap anything and getting rid of it potentially with Destiny Bond. Uh, but, in any case, guys, I hope you learned something. I do encourage you to try out Zygarde Complete in Ubers. I actually will be having an Ubers Live going up sometime. Big shout out to my boy Palm Man, Cameron. Thank you, buddy. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to use this and show you guys what it does. So, goodbye, friends.